Hi Capricorn, this is your March 2016 horoscope. Thank you for joining me. This is for anybody who has their sun, moon, or rising sign in Capricorn. So how are you guys going to be doing in the month of March? Well, let's start out with where the sun is placed. The sun is going to be in Pisces, which is your third house. The sun has been in Pisces since the end of February. So you're going to be continuing on that energy through the end of March of being a straight busybody. Your mind is like, go, go, go. It's so active. It's like, you know, a lot of Capricorns might have a, a little bit of restlessness right now and feel like they're always motivated to do something. Capricorn, you're normally a very hardworking energy anyway. And the third house energy is like your mind is constantly like whizzing around with thoughts and ideas and plans and, and errands that need to be ran and things that need to be done. So this energy is keeping you very, very busy. Um, since you guys really are into your work, this is an energy that's great to use for completing a lot of different tasks at work. You may be asked to work a little bit harder or you know, to cover for co-workers or things like that, but staying very busy and active as far as like in the mind and even physically is definitely possible right now with the sun in the third house. On the 21st of March, the sun moves into Aries and this is your fourth house of the home and the family. And this does include the physical home. So Capricorns, this energy is opposite of you, right? Because Capricorn is on, uh, for those a little more advanced in astrology, Capricorn represents the 10th house of the chart, which is the, the highest point, like the noon, 12 o'clock noon point, that's all about achieving the highest social status possible, which means working very hard to get to the point where you can say, I have a degree, I have a PhD, I have a career. It's the career house. The fourth house is the very bottom of the chart. It, it's represented by the energy of the sign of cancer. So it involves the roots and the home and the family life. And a lot of people who have fourth house transits or the fourth house energy by birth, they're very much homebodies. They are very focused on their family. They're very focused on their roots and they're very proud of their roots and where they came from. And they always need a sense of connection to those roots. So while the sun is there, you are going to be feeling that way, like craving a more connection to your roots maybe connecting with your parents, your grandparents, any of your ancestors, your relatives, maybe spending more time with family, maybe doing some things around the home to where you're fixing it up to make it look better because you're all about having the best, you know, to show off what you've achieved through hard work. And what better way to do so through a house, right? Because Capricorn also represents structures. That includes buildings like houses. So Take this time to focus on your home. Is your home satisfactory to you? Is it up to your standards? Do you feel like maybe you can have a better home, own a better home? Do you want to sell your home? Do you want to move you know, to another home that you're renting or leasing or whatever? This is the time where you are going to be thinking about those things and making those types of decisions, Capricorn. But if you're not concerned with switching homes, moving homes, selling a home, then just spending more time at home is definitely possible during this month. For the first half of March, Venus is hanging out in Aquarius where she has been since mid-February. And this is in your second house of earned income. Any Capricorns that are looking to get a raise, this is a great time because Venus represents money, but she also represents a pl very pleasant energy. And whatever area she's transiting through your life, she's going to try her best to make things more pleasant and be more diplomatic and, and negotiate things in ways that are favorable. And Venus likes for people to get along with one another. She doesn't really like conflict. So she's gonna soften the area of life that she's traveling through and sprinkle her little magic fairy dust and say, I wanna make everything okay in this area of your life. So when it comes to your earned income, this is the area that she's going to focus on. And so yeah, if you wanna raise, good time to ask. You're gonna be appearing in a more positive light, you know, to boss figures um, when asking for raises, but also you may have opportunities to earn more money, like extra money, like taking up some more work or getting a new job, getting a second job, you know, these are all possible with Venus in the second. On the 13th of March, Venus will move into Pisces and this is your third house. Third house is the way that you think, it's the way that you communicate with other people, it's your day-to-day -day, like errands that you run, um, it is going to the bank, to the post office, to the coffee shop, to the grocery store, to all of those little places that you just visit very quickly day-to-day. 
Venus represents relationships one-on-one, -on -one. and yeah, she is the goddess of love, so if you are looking to find new love, if you are open to relationships, Venus in the third can help you to meet someone through people that you already know or places that you go fre very frequently. So you might meet love at Starbucks getting your morning coffee. You might meet love, you know, in the grocery store um, or any of those places if you're open to that. If that's not something that you're looking for Capricorn, then Venus in the third can simply mean you are communicating a little bit more softer and more pleasant to other people and your thinking is a little bit more Venusian, like diplomatic, like you may stop yourself and think about things before you react like in a sarcastic manner like you normally do, you know? You might not be as sarcastic during this time. Or because the third house represents communication through technological devices as well, like phones, tablets, um, email, computers, whatever. Venus there, Venus wants to buy things and spend money, so you might be spending money on a new phone or a new technological device um, to communicate better with people. So this is very much possibilities while Venus is in the third. But yes, your focuses are definitely going to be on more Venusian things when it comes to your ways of logical thinking. Mars has been in the sign of Scorpio since January of 2016 and continues to travel through that sign through the first week of March. And Scorpio is your 11th house of your groups and your groups of friends and your like-minded people that you associate with um, all the time and any organizations that you belong to. So with Mars there, a lot of things have been going on like being more active within groups, maybe joining some groups that do some physically active activities, working out with friends at the gym, um, maybe joining some online communities where you play those interactive games like those shooting games or even going out shooting with your friends because Mars is a very aggressive active energy you know and he likes things like guns and knives and weapons and stuff so maybe participating in some of those things with friends have been um, what you've been up to with Mars in the 11th however the energy is going to shift around March 6th Mar March 7th to your 12th house Sagittarius is your 12th house and Mars is going to move into Sag on the 6th, the 7th of the month. And um, this is the area of life where things go to rest. Any planet that goes into the 12th house, it's like its battery is drained somewhat, you know? Especially all the, the fiery planets like Mars and the Sun, when they go into the 12th house, it's like you do feel a little bit more sleepy. You do feel a little bit more drained of energy and physical drive and you may need to take more time to rest, you know? While Mars is your drive in action, um, yeah, and he's a fireball, he's hot, but when he goes in the 12th house, he sinks down deep into that 12th house ocean and he kind of fizzles out and floats there like, hey, what am I doing? And then he gets frustrated because Mars wants to go, go, go and run, right? So you're gonna be running, it's like Mars is running, but he's underwater and he's like, oh, this is so hard. Oh my gosh, I'm getting worn out so fast. So you may physically feel like that while Mars is in Sagittarius. So I'm just warning you of that. Um, and it can drain your vitality a little bit to where you may need to um, watch your health. You know, watch your health as far as things that are um, inflammatory, especially the 12th house energy is associated with like the sinuses. So you may have some aggravation of the sinuses or maybe a little bit more susceptible to colds and things like that. So really take care of yourself, take those vitamins. If you are into physical active, activities you know like working out and hiking they may be a little bit more difficult for you but you can still do them you may just need a little bit more rest afterwards so mercury for the first week of march is still going to be in aquarius where he has been since february and this is your second house so mercury is the mind mercury is a busybody he's a multitasker go 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 busy 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 that's what your mind has been on as far as how you earn your income so you may have been asked to do more tasks at work with this energy as well. Um, you may have picked up some extra work on your own because you need some extra money. Or Mercury is also a manager and an organizer. And the second house represents your earned income like your finances um, that you earn by yourself. So you may have had your mind on budgeting and saving money because the second house likes to conserve and preserve and make things last a long time because the second house is very material. It's the love of material things. So you love your material resources and you may have been working on budgets to make sure that they last you as long as possible. On the 6th of March, Mercury moves into Pisces. This is your third house. Let me tell you, Mercury in the third house and any sign that it's in is super duper busy 
busy, active mind. So this is what's going to be going on for you. You're going to be a little more restless, you know, um, with the sun being there as well for a, a part of the time, uh, sun and Mercury together in the same house, in the third house. Mercury and the third house are a very similar energy. So you are going to be definitely busy. If not physically, then up here, yes. So make sure that you are getting your rest though, you know. Um, you may have to work a little bit harder to make sure that you get your rest. With Mars being in your 12th, draining your physical vitality, your physical drive, and then your mind wanting to go, go, go because of the third house energy, Capricorns, you may kind of wear yourselves out and drain yourselves a little bit. So definitely take care of yourselves. But this is an excellent time to organize and manage anything, to get your checklist checked off, get tasks done. And you'll probably be a superstar at work with this energy because people are going to be like, wow, Capricorn usually works hard in general as it is, but Capricorn has been on it, boy. And Capricorn is there getting that work done from the 22nd of March on through the rest of the month. Mercury moves into Aries and this is your fourth house. Now, remember as I mentioned with the sun moving there, um, it's your roots and your family and your home. So Mercury is a busy body. He's gonna keep you very busy around the home. You may be physically busy like fixing things because Mercury is the hands, right? So you might look around the house and see this needs to be fixed, that needs to be fixed, this needs to be adjusted, you know, and start physically doing those things with your hands. But also uh, Mercury is the mind. And with your mind um, in the fourth house, your mind may be more geared and directed towards family life during this time. So, you know, thinking about your relatives, actually giving them a call for once, or you attract that to you as well. So you may have relatives calling you, wanting to spend time with you and see how Capricorn has been doing. The fourth house is, is like a more, it's a more introverted energy because it's at the very bottom of the chart where planets are below the horizon. They're not above the horizon wanting to be out in the world, you know, talking a whole bunch. Um, so, you know, below the horizon, you may be a little more, you know, to yourself, even when you're out in public and just kind of wanting to only focus on really deep conversations that are very uh, soothing to the soul when Mercury is in the fourth house. Or you may be having more soothing conversations with people on your own, you know, be talking to them more in a more um, softer manner, you know, especially with Venus moving into your third house of the way you speak and communicate as well. So people might be looking at you Capricorn this month like, wow, something changed about them. They're not as sarcastic and snappy as usual. They're actually kind of nice. I'm just kidding, but yeah, definitely a little more pleasant energy when it comes to your thoughts. Um, but still, you know, earlier in the month, you are going to have a very active mind. So I must let you know about the eclipses that are happening this month because they're very, very significant and important. Um, every month there's a new moon and there's a full moon. The new moon brings new beginnings. The full moon brings things to an end or to a final decision. When we have eclipses, uh, rather than lasting, the effects lasting a, a month, like a regular new moon and full moon, they last up to six months. You may start to feel the energy a little bit before and a little bit after. Um, maybe even on that same day, it might be intense for you, depending upon where it lands in your life. So let me tell you what they are going to bring for Capricorn. So on March 8th, the eclipse is going to be at 18 degrees Pisces, and this is in your third house of communication and your rational, logical thinking. Um, it's also skills of the hands. So within the next six months, you can be learning a new skill of the hands, something that you can apply to your life in the areas of work and career, or you know, um, you may be just learning new skills that have to do with your job to enhance your job duties. It's also how you communicate with others. So you may come to a realization that, you know what, maybe I have been communicating with people on a level that's not very, very nice, very pleasant, or, or, you know, very effective. I'm not really getting through to people with how I talk to them. So I'm going to make a decision to just start communicating on a different level, whatever that may mean to you. The third house is also short distance travel, and it's also what we use to get around in short distances. So that can mean vehicles. So Capricorns, you may be getting a new vehicle within the next six months, changing things up, or maybe get your vehicle fixed and up and running again, whatever it may be. But yeah, definitely something with short distance travel, communication, skills is on the horizon with this eclipse. The full moon eclipse happens in the sign of Libra, three degrees Libra in your 10th house 
on March 22nd. Capricorns, the 10th house energy is you. It's, it's career, it's status, it's all those things that are so important to you as a person. So with a full moon there, this is what can happen. Uh, it does bring things to a close, yes. So don't always be scared and think, oh my God, my career is going to go bye-bye. Oh my gosh, what am I going to do with my life? It can lead to the ending of something within a career, but something that brings about a change, something that clears the path for something brand new when it comes to your social status and career. Your social status can also mean how people see you um, as far as if they see you in a positive light or negative light, not just with career. Um, how they see you like on social media. It can also mean how they see you in the world as far as your relationship. Are you married? Are you single? Are you taken? You know, so that can change as well. But all in all, a final decision is going to be made within the next six months and a big change is on the horizon. So if you are looking to switch gears in career, this full moon is, eclipse is going to bring that about. Just be prepared for that. Make sure you have a plan, which you're great at as a Capricorn, so that this energy can manifest in the most beneficial way for you that is going to make your life that much better. All right, Capricorn, so to wrap up the month of March to you, your main focuses are going to be on your third house of communication, short distance travel, the skills of the hands, your fourth house of home and family. Family is going to be a big focus for you or changing something with your home and living situation. And your second house of earned income is also a big focus. Uh, secondary focuses are going to be your 11th house of friends and groups for the first week. And then it's going to shift to the 12th house. You're going to be a little more drained of energy, but still able to get things done. Um, and also your 10th house of career with the full moon eclipse big, big focus for you. So be prepared for that. All right, Capricorn. Well, thank you so much for joining me. I hope this was insightful and helpful for you. Please subscribe to my channel because I will be doing these every single month. I absolutely love doing them. And um, I haven't really mentioned on previous videos, but I will start putting it out there more that yes, I do readings. And um, you can email me. My email is in the description box and I can give you all the details of the readings. But yes, I offer readings, recorded readings, live readings, um, more details to come with those. But hit me up if you would like one. All right. Well, I'll see you guys next month in the month of April. Capricorn, take care. Peace.